All right, the other area that I know that there's things I need to explore is over in this direction. Oh, hmm. apropos. Uh, so one is, uh, this is the staircase I came back up when I kind of got lost deep in the cave and was sure I was near the surface. And so there's parts of the cave that we just haven't finished exploring down there. And then it also connected to a cave over here that I started to explore once uh, off camera. Oh, pfft. speak of the devil. And a creeper came right here and exploded on me. And he just did the exact same thing. The exact same thing happened. I'm glad I got that on, uh, on the video this time. So somewhere right over there, uh, creepers can spawn. And they keep doing it. And so we need to go clean that up. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, yuck. He just totally screwed up this area. Uh, okay. So we got two priorities at once here. One is just to kind of re-secure this area quickly. Ugh. Um, and kind of put down a new floor. And two is to run over there and figure out where he's spawning and secure it. Okay, so I've got a little bit of a floor here. Darn. It's obviously something there. But I'm not going to go down there right now. I'm going to fill this floor back in. just well enough to have it be temporarily usable. All right, and so obviously creepers are coming from down here. We need to find where they're coming from. And put an end to it. Eee. Ah, crap! <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> ah. All right. We found a room with a lot of enemies. Okay. Uh, and it looks like it might be big. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put down a couple of torches. just to get a sense of what all is here. But I am not up for a giant spelunking mission right now, so I am going to do this. I'm going to plug it up. I am going to place two torches here on the floor. Just remember that there's something unexplored there that I've plugged up. But then I can call this area now no longer a threat for just spawning random creepers who are going to come running into the area uh, and destroy my world. All right, so that makes me happy. So now with that uh, fenced off, there's a bit of coal here and some iron that I want to go ahead and mine, and I'm also going to put another layer back on this floor. And then I think, is that all uh, look okay? Then I think um, I will have all of this kind of in a connected way so that enemies can't get in uh, any of the main area from any of the outside directions. Oh, except for this one thing over here that I still uh, will have to take a look at. But I'm going to cut off the video for a couple minutes and we'll come back. Hello, and welcome back to more Minecraft Exploration and Tactics with Brian. I think last time I cut off the video I said I'd be back with you in a few minutes, and instead it's two days later of real time, uh, as well as a bit of Minecraft time, and so I've done some work. And so it's morning, and rather than go out the front door, I will go down my new ladder that kind of takes me more directly down uh, into the first part of uh, the underground station here. And if we go down here, I of course have been kind of glassing in a lot of this in order to get it open, as well as uh, glassing in some stuff that goes down to the cavern there so that I have glass all the way down. And so that's where I want to go. Um, and I just realized I've done so much construction here that I can no longer walk over to what would have been the old doorway over there. So let me make myself a walkway just so I can go down. Because what I want to do is something that I haven't done even for myself yet, which is now that I have all this glass coming in, I don't know where I'm hearing skeletons from. That's a little bothersome. There shouldn't be any in here. Uh, maybe they're behind some other wall. 
basically now if I go down into this cavern and I look up, I can see up into the sky. And so I can't see it all the way from the bottom, but you get the idea. And so it lets a whole lot more light into this cavern. Uh, and so I think it would be pretty cool to have even more of this glass den. And so I'd have this giant area where I go up. How far does it go up? Let's try to get a uh, quick count. Uh, so it's up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty levels to here. And it looks like another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven maybe levels up to the second layer of glass that's there. And... Do, 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 do. So I was up to, what, 27? And then, remind me how I get back out of here. Yes, great. So I think it's 27 layers up to there, and then like 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 4, 5, 6, 7, 3, 8, 9, 40. Yeah, so I think it's about 40 layers from the bottom of the cavern up to surface level where I'm actually putting in the top layer of glass. Uh, and so I think that's the deepest, you know, sunshine shining down. Oh, it's back. I'm going to save and quit. In any case, I think that's the deepest I've ever made, you know, sunlight shining down into the center of the earth before. Uh, and so it's been kind of an interesting construction project. That said, uh, I'm getting bored of it. I'm not much of a builder, as I've mentioned before. And so uh, I'm thinking I want to go exploring in the overworld again. And so I wanted to go ahead and show that off to you. Uh, but instead, what I think I want to do is just go and I've got Wanderlust and uh, I'm just interested in packing up my stuff uh, and going away on a mission and possibly leaving this place behind forever or otherwise at least just going and doing some more exploring up in this north end of the world that I'm at right now. And so, uh, yeah, I will organize some traveling inventory and I will join you guys in a little bit. Actually, I'll probably join you guys in the next episode because that way this will all be a building episode and then we'll go back to exploring in the next episode. So I'll see you guys in a future episode. There you go. Bye-bye.